Hi, my name is Kathy Wynn, and I am a Big Fix Technical Advisor based out of Atlanta, Georgia. You may scan my QR code on the lower left-hand corner to connect with me via LinkedIn. Today's video, I will be going over some steps to restore a deleted action back into the Big Fix console, specifically related to Big Fix on a SQL Server database. You can basically query the BigFix database using applications such as Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. You can also restore a particular action by its action ID. However, please note that deleted actions can be restored as long as you didn't run the BES audit trail cleaner to delete deleted actions. On the screen, you will see a query that you can run to undelete deleted actions as long as you have its action ID. Now, typically, you probably wouldn't know the action ID or take note of it prior to deleting. This next query on the screen will query deleted actions pulling back its action name, ID, and creation time. You want to go a little bit further, you can also pull the action issuer. So now, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and walk through the process on how to undelete an action. On the screen, I've pulled up my Big Fix console and I'm in the actions. Here, I already have an action that I will be deleting to show you how to undelete it. Here, I see an action ID. My ID, my action ID is 2335. Now, if you don't have this column, you can right click the header and make sure or check ID. I'm going to go ahead and delete this action. Now that it's deleted, I can go ahead and go to SQL Management Studio. Now that I'm logged in, I'm going to go ahead and navigate to my Big Fix, uh, my Big Fix database, and I'm going to click on New Query. So I I already know what the ID is, but again, what if I did not know? I'll go ahead and use this first query. And this pulls back all the deleted actions by name, ID, and creation time. I scroll a little bit, I will see the action that I deleted 2335. Now, just for a demonstration purpose, if I wanted to grab the issuer as well. I'll go ahead and run the second query. And as you can see, it also pulls up, pulls the action issuer. Now let's go ahead and run the query to undelete the action, which is 2335. New query. Execute gives me one row affected and a completion time. So now let me go back to my Big Fix console. And I didn't even have to hit ref refresh. There it goes. Um, so that's pretty much how you would 
um, undelete an action back into the console or restore an action back into the console. So now back to my slides. Um, here are some useful resources for BigFix. Uh, we have BigFix.com, uh, where you can go uh, get offerings, features, schedule a demo. Um, we have our support.bigfix.com site, uh, which is pretty much a landing page for um, where you can open up tickets to support. Um, there's also links to events, webinars, um, links to documentation, downloads, and so forth. We have a forum.bigfix.com. Um, this is where you would go. It's a very great place to ask questions and get answers from the BigFix community. We're also on LinkedIn and Facebook. Please do not hesitate to reach out to me on LinkedIn if you have any questions. Thank you for watching, and I hope that this video was helpful to you.